Shalom YouTube. This is Sister T and welcome again to The Rock. Now right now what I'm showing you is a patch of plantain. These are plantain leaves, not to be confused with the plantain fruit because there is a plantain that's a fruit. But these are not fruit, obviously, as you can see. And there are many types of different plantain. We have um, a plantain called broadleaf plantain and there's also a narrow leaf plantain. So we have them both on our property, but right now I'm just showing you plantain. We're talking about plantain in general. Now, I will share some more of the benefits of plantain. And the reason I want to share this is because at this point, you can find plantain. If you have any amount of land or property, you could have plantain growing in your uh, land or property as well. Or if you have any amount of acreage of yard, it could be a half acre a lot of these wild growing herbs are growing in your backyard. Things such as plantain, as I'm showing you, which is what we're talking about, but chickweed and different things like that. And a lot of these herbs that are coming up in your property that is considered a weed actually has many, many, many health benefits. And I'm going to share with you the health benefits that these plantains have in just a moment and what I am doing and what I have been doing with these plantains and me and my sisters are doing with these herbs that are coming up on your property naturally and how we're using them. So I'll be back shortly. All right, Shalom Sisters, I'm back. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. Earlier in the video, we had talked about and I was showing you the plantain leaves or root, I mean, it's often called a weed, but the plantain plants that we had growing all over our property. It is actually, a, um, they call it a weed, but it's like a wild plant, herb. Some people call it an herb <clears throat> um, that grows wildly. And it has many health benefits and it has external uses too. So you have many uses of this uh, plantain and I will just be listing a couple. And one of the reasons I wanted to share this with you, how the Rock family is using it, but as well as just knowing these little things, these little pieces of information. If you have any amount of land and you identify this on your land, instead of getting rid of it, like we're taught to do, because, you know, we have been taught a lot of fear of everything. Everything could be a danger to us. We could, It could be something poisonous. It could be this. So we now do not have knowledge that can help us now. You know, Yah gave us all these herbs. Some of these things grow wildly. It doesn't cost you an arm and a leg in a store. Sometimes it's right on your own property, but you're not able to utilize it because of fear or because of something you just don't have knowledge on altogether. Now, I'm not claiming to know everything. I don't know all the benefits of all these, uh, of all the herbs I'm doing with what may, some of you may be doing, you find them, you look them up. Uh, I researched this. I've been looking at plantain for a couple of years now um, and then experimenting with it as well because the Bible still says prove all things. So sometimes you just have to prove these things. But from basically what I can get from online is what I'll share to you, share with you and <clears throat> how we're planning to use this plantain. Um, also, another thing. You know, it's often comp uh, compared to dandelion because nowadays dandelion grows everywhere. And dandelion, if in, if you haven't looked it up already, you can look it up. But dandelion is actually very healthy. Something that you should probably consume as often as possible. Hint, hint to myself. <laughs> um, that you should consume as often as possible. And dandelion, you know, it is a, it's, it's kind of hot. You know, it's more of a bitter herb. But you can throw it in a salad. You can drink it in the tea. Um, you can use the root for uh, dandelion root coffee. I've done that. <laughs> and it tastes actually like coffee. But since I'm not talking that about dandelion, let me get back on track. We're talking about plantain. But it's very similar. It grows now everywhere. So I am hope that you can, maybe after hearing um, a little bit more about this plantain, that you will look for plantain in your own property. Do not confuse this plantain with, there's another plantain. It's like a... Um, uh, some type of fruit, like a banana type fruit. I don't know much about it. I've just seen pictures online of a banana looking fruit type of thing that they also call plantain. So if anybody know anything about it, maybe you could put it in the description, but I really don't know much about that plantain. Okay, so plantain benefits. This is external benefits I'll be talking about first. For externally, you can use plantain for insect bites, burns, scrapes, sunburns, uh, poison ivy, bruises, drawing out splinters. Um, so those are just a small list that I compiled of external benefits of the plantain. Also, it is actually good for your skin. You can clean your face 
with plantain or uh, like plantain after you let it sit as a tea or a tincture. And you can use this in your face washes. You can use this in your um, soaps or anything that you're going to keep on your face for a little bit in order to cleanse it. And it's supposed to help clear up scars and help tighten the skin. Now, this is information online. You can also look it up on yourself to verify. So this is just information that I have researched that I am sharing with you. Uh, internal benefits of this plantain herb uh, is for it treats cough, bronchitis, it flight, uh, fights inflammation, it helps your digestive health. Um, it has calcium, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K. Um, it also helps you internally to go to the bathroom. It helps regulate your bowel movement. Okay. And so these are just a few things. Again, look it up for yourself. There were some other things that I didn't get down this time. But even just for those few things that I listed right there. Oh, oh, I can't forget this one. And it helps treat arthritis. Arthritis. As well as type 2 diabetes. Can't forget those two. Um, and the reason it's so important for me to remember this arthritis, I remember thinking when we first found this, um, I had lost my grandmother um, and she uh, suffered from arthritis for a very long time. As long as I was born, I know my grandmother had arthritis. And um, when I first discovered this plantain on our property and I started looking at the benefits, it had all this information on arthritis health, like how plantain helps literally get rid of arthritis if you use it regularly, it, as well as a few other herbs that we do also have growing wild on our property. And I remember thinking, I wonder how my grandmother's health would have been had she known that she can use something like plantain and she had property and maybe it was growing on her property and she never recognized it. She just pulled it up and fed it to her chickens likely like we were doing. We were feeding everything to our chickens. And here it is with this, this, uh, uh, all these benefits and things that she could have used. So let us not do the same thing, have herbs sitting right under our noses and we're praying to Yah for health and strength and all those things. And it's right there in front of us. And a lot of times if we just seek it out, Maybe he'll reveal it to us, the uses and how it can help our health. So I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, um, we are tincturing it. I have two of them right here, the plantain, and this is also plantain. This tincture I just put in a video just because I just recently did this one as well, and it's a chickweed tincture. And there are so many benefits even to chickweed. And you know what we were doing? We were giving all the chickweeds to our chickens, but actually you can use it as well to... Um, improve your health so do not throw away plants that you believe are weeds please look into them and see how you can use them we're going to be using this plantain uh, for a tincture because see I'm already forgetting the information it also helps with asthma and bronchitis and it helps with your lung health so we want to use it in our family for those things because we do have um, asthma um, and we have uh, other things that we can use this for. I mean, diabetes runs in my family. Arthritis runs in my family. So we're not just using it to treat ailments, but we want to do preventative uh, work as well. Um, sometimes treating the ailments with herbs, a lot of people get discouraged because it doesn't heal you right away. But it's not necessarily meant to. Not all herbs are meant to heal you right away. It's supposed to be a preventative thing. If you are taking this ahead of time, you can prevent these things, some of these things. And other times, yes, you could take them to heal you, but they do take a little bit longer because it takes longer to get in your system and so on and so forth. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, if I'm able to answer them, I will. You can leave them in the um in your description. You can write down your question and 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 put it at the bottom and I will read them and I will respond to you. Uh and if I'm able to help you in any way, I will. If I don't know, I'm gonna tell you I don't know. But I hope this video was helpful information. I hope you start looking into the herbs that you have on your property and how to use them. If you have anything else you know about this herb that I may have not known, please share with me. I am so interested in knowing um, so our family can use it as well. Okay, well, until next time, you all have a productive day. Shalom. Okay, y'all. Also, I know I said shalom, but I wanted to say this. Please forgive me. I keep saying leave the information in the description box leave it in the comment section below and i will be sure to answer your messages your comments please leave any information you have or any questions you have in the comment section i keep saying leave it in the description box y'all have to forgive me sisters but anyways that's all i have for you today shalom and bless you